sorry, it was mute, sorry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Shreyari. Good morning, Kushi. Mutabiram, right? Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> okay, so all of you can hear me, right? Tell me, all of you can hear me clearly? Yes? Okay, very good. Morning, Swamya. Okay, Swamya, message, message to host, okay? Message to host. I'm messaging to co-host, okay? Okay, so I hope all of you remember the concept that we have studied in last class. Tell me, yes? All of you remember the concepts, right? When you talk about the concept that we studied in last class, so we talked about conduction, okay? We started a topic, heat transfer, and we talked about conduction. I hope everyone remember this concept. Yes? Okay, we talked about series combination of rods, right? As well as your parallel combination. Okay, and we studied how we can relate this with whatever we have studied in class 10th, right? Okay, so we can use the concept of series or parallel. Okay. Okay. I've already shared the video also of the class. Okay, so as I said, we will be focusing on problem solving today. Okay, because this is a topic which is very important and you have to solve lots of problem based on this. Okay, so I'll start with uh, module itself. I'll start with module. Then we will solve, or I'll just take some examples. Wait, I'll just take some examples. Okay, so I hope all of you can see this example. Tell me, all of you can see this? This is example, example number one, right? So try solving this, everyone. I hope this is clear to everyone. It is visible. Right, it's clearly visible, tell me. Yes. Okay, this is based on the basic concept of heat transfer, which is conduction, right? We are talking about conduction. Okay, so try to solve this problem, everyone. Try to solve this problem step by step. Step by step, try to solve this. Yes, so when you talk about the concept that we have studied in last class, I hope all of you remember the concept that you have studied in last class, right? So the only concept that you have studied was heat transfer or rate of transfer of heat dq by dt, okay, which is also called as heat current, I, T, right, which is current thermal, okay. This is given by, tell me, Th minus Tl divided by RT, as simple as that, okay? Where RT is thermal resistance, which is L by Ka, okay, right? This is the concept that we have studied. Okay, this is the basic concept. Now, think about it. In my problem, what is given? Steam at 373 Kelvin, so it is 100 degree centigrade, okay? TH is equal to 273 Kelvin. It's passed through a tube of radius 10 centimeter and length 2 meter. So area is given, radius is given, so area is given, right? And length is given, got it. So this L is given. Thickness of the tube is 5 mm and the thermal conductivity of material is this. Now thickness of the tube, right? Now think about it. So actually it is thick. So this tube, right, is a, tell me, when you talk about the area, what would be the area? Will it be the, tell me, area of the tube or area of the conductor? Tell me, when you talk about the area, right, the area is area of the tube or area of the conductor? Tell me. Tell me everyone. So I can say that we will have a tube like this. Okay, right? So this is your tube like this. Makes sense? So when you talk about area, the area will be the area of conductor, yes or no? Thickness is given as 5 mm, right? Radius is 10 mm. 
so 10 centimeter so you can find the area of this con yes conductor yes or no tell me right so this is that area yes are we correct okay so area will be yes pi capital r square minus small r square okay capital r is 2 point sorry 10 point 5 okay 10 point 5 small r is 10 so we can calculate the area okay k is given length is given and tl is zero degrees centigrade given okay wait everyone someone came i guess right okay very good so you just have to put the value and check the answer so if we check the answer let's see what is the answer okay so the answer is 98 into 10 power 5 joule okay the answer is 98 into 10 power 5 joule make sense see the same thing is being done yes or no tell me same thing is being done got it everyone got it okay right okay try solving the second one try solving the second one okay first one is easy second one is also same as first one okay try solving this the thermal conductivity of brick is given 1.7 okay what per meter kelvin and that of cement is 2.9 watt per meter kelvin what thickness of cement will have same insulation as brick of thickness 20 centimeter, right? Try solving this, everyone. Try solving this. Okay. So this is also based on the same concept. If you solve, if you solve this, okay. So I can say, right, formula will be same. Okay. Formula will be same. So we just have to find the ratio. Okay. Because temperature difference is same. Area is same. So we just have to take the ratio of their conductivity, thermal conductivity and length, which is your thickness. Okay, right? So we'll get 34.1 or 34.12. Got it? I hope everyone, right? Okay, let's try solving next problem. Okay. Try solving this problem. Try solving this problem, everyone. Okay, try solving this problem. size and wall thickness okay right so when you talk about size and wall thickness they are filled with equal quantities of ice at zero degrees centigrade now when you talk about this think about it when you talk about this okay yes so i can say when you talk about thickness right when you talk about thickness thickness is see if it is flowing inside if anything is flowing inside then the thickness that you will take, the length that you will take, will be the thickness, okay? So, the ice melts completely in 10 and 25 minutes respectively, okay? Then compare the coefficient of thermal conductivity of material of the vessel. So, you have to find the ratio of K, right? Okay, you have to find the ratio of K. Now, think about it. So, suppose the coefficient of K is K1 and K2, right? Okay, so many of you are got getting different answers. The answer is five by two. The correct answer is five by two. Think about it now. Okay, right? Now since the heat which will be transferred will be same, right? Heat transferred will be same, yes or no? Because we have two vessels, right? Of different materials and they are identical in size and wall thickness. They are filled with equal quantities of ice at zero degrees centigrade. Okay. And the ice melts at, right, the ice will melt, yes or no. So, the amount of energy released will be same, makes sense. Yes or no, yes, we are correct, right. So, Q will be same. Now, when you talk about Q, it is K1A, theta1 minus theta2, T1 by L. This should be equal to K2A, theta1 minus theta2, T2 by L. Now, in this case, length, area, 
everything is equal but time taken is different okay so k1 by k2 is 2 by t1 as simple as that so the answer is 5 by 2 yes or no tell me easy think about it was this question easy so if they would have given different amount of i's then okay then we would have calculated q using the concept of ml right then we have equated okay abhiram tell me got it think about it now right because if they have given different amount of i's then obviously q would be different yes or no tell me got it right this is how you think okay how a concept is used okay right very good so i hope everyone got this concept everyone got this concept so all of you know how to use this formula putting getting kind of thing yes or no right so let's yeah so let's try solving the next concept so this is the first concept that you have studied this was the first concept that you have studied in last class so let's try the second concept Okay, so, so I hope all of you can see the question now. Tell me, I hope all of you can see the question now, right? Step by step, step by step, right? We'll try to strengthen our concepts step by step. First concept was just based on formula, right? Very good. Now, this is your second concept. I hope all of you remember this concept. Just try to go through this. Okay, so I hope all of you understood this problem. Now, when you talk about this problem, think about it, right? Two plates of equal area are placed in contact with each other. The thickness are this and this, right, respectively. So I can say, I can say we have two plates, right? We have two plates. Okay, so we have two plates like this. This is plate one, this is plate two, okay? Thickness is given 2 and 5. The temperature of external surface of the first plate is minus 20, right? And that of the external surface of second plate is 20. Okay, so this temperature is, suppose this temperature is 20 and this temperature is minus 20. Okay, right? So what will be the temperature of the contact surface? So you have to find this T, right? Got it. I hope all of you remember the concept here. Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me. So I can say the, these two are in series, right? Or the thermal current passing through this will be same. So tell me, it will be 20 minus T divided by RT should be equal to, or R1T, R1T, should be equal to T minus of minus 20 divided by R2T. Yes or no, tell me, yes or no. I'll just write down R2, right? I'm just in the habit of writing R1, R2. So I'll just write R1, R2. Anyone have any issue in this? This is the easy concept, yes? Right? Okay, so let's see what is the answer. Let's see what is the answer. Okay. So this is what we have to, yes. So this is all what we have to solve. Okay, right? So the answer is minus 8.6 degrees centigrade. The first answer is minus 8.6 degrees centigrade. Okay, just by putting the values, it's easy. Yes. Arjun, screen is visible now, right? Okay, the second is, now when K1 by K2 is two by five, when K1 by K2 is two by five, then you have to find temperature. So here, K is not equal. So put the ratio of K1 by K2, okay? then find theta. Same thing, but you have to put the value of K1 and K2. Okay, then you will find theta. So theta will be zero degree centigrade. Everyone got this concept? Tell me, yes or no? Everyone got this concept? Okay. 
okay minus 8.57 is fine okay it's fine okay very good so this is the second concept okay this is the second concept let's try one more problem based on this concept let's try solving this problem everyone try solving this problem okay now if you see this if you see this i have taken this as 20 and this as minus 20 right and they have taken this as minus 20 this as 20 but technically it is same now right yes or no technically it is same got it right i have already told you you don't have to worry about the direction of current okay because if it is opposite you'll get negative value right okay so let's see okay let's see this problem when you talk about this problem okay what is given an ice box used for keeping eatable cold as a total wall area of one meter cube sorry one meter square and a wall thickness of five centimeter the thermal conductivity is given right okay yes jitendra correct meet correct okay so see right I can say that it is filled with ice at zero degree centigrade along with eatables on a day when temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. The latent of fusion is given, calculate the amount of heat, amount of ice melted in one day. So I can say, yes, Abhiram, correct. Okay. So I can say we have to calculate, we have to calculate the amount of heat transferred. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no in one day. Right? Yes. So when you talk about the concept, so dq by dt is equal to ka by l into d theta or d t, capital T, which is temperature. Now k is given, a is given, l is given, right? And change in temperature is given 0 and 30, right? So this is dq by dt, yes or no, right? Yes. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me. Okay. Now. Yes, so this is this is per second, but you want to find total heat. So in one day, right in 24 hours, you can calculate the amount of heat transferred, which is 6 into 86400 seconds, right? This is your seconds, right? Okay, so total amount of heat should be equal to this, which is equal to ml. Yes or no? Right? ML. So I can calculate easily. Easy question, tell me. Easy question, yes or no, tell me. Raise your hand, everyone. If you understood this problem, raise your hand. Okay, very good. Step by step, right? If you focus now, okay, then this chapter would be actually easy. Now, next, next problem. Everyone try to solve this next problem. This next problem. Okay, just try to understand this problem. Okay, so a hollow spherical ball of inner radius A and outer radius to it is made up of uniform material of constant thermal conductivity K. Okay, the temperature within the ball, and this is this is your uh, shell kind of thing. Okay, the temperature within the ball is maintained at 2T naught, 2 t naught, and the outside is maintained at T naught. Okay. Find the rate at which the heat flows out of the ball in a steady state, right? Now, when we talk about steady state, we know that, right, the current is fixed, okay? Now, the temperature at R is equal to 3A by 2, which is somewhere in between, okay? Where R is the radial distance from the center of the shell. Now, if you think about it, right, we will start with the basic definition, right? So, I can say thermal current, okay, thermal current is what? C, which is dq by dt. Yes or no, the basic definition, which is equal to minus Ka d theta by dr or dt by dr. Anyone have any issue in this? This is the basic definition. This is the definition, right? This is your definition, okay? Right? This is your definition. So from here, now, what we have to find? Tell me, what do you have to find? Tell me, steady state. So steady state means thermal current is constant, which is C1, it is given, okay, right? I'll just assume that it will be C1 because you have to find the 
radio to find the equation okay so when you about this term this is c so dt by dr or dt by dr is equal to minus c1 by 4k 1 by r square now we take r to that side and integrate so if we integrate we will get dt is equal to c1 minus c1 by 4 pi k integration of 1 by r square dr yes or no and this is integration of u to t i hope everyone is clear with this i hope everyone is clear with this yes or no yes or no right and we know that the integration of 1 by r square is minus 1 by r okay so minus minus will become plus so t will be given as now this given is their constant 4 pi k and this is 1 by r 1 by r but since it is definite integration so indefinite integration we have to put another constant so i'll just put at c2 that's why we have to put one other constant which is c2 okay or you can put c not also so this is the equation of temperature now temperature in terms of radius is given temperature in terms of radius is given so think about it i can say i can say if this is the equation of temperature with respect to radius then at, at radius is equal to a temperature is 2t not so put the value 2t not at a okay and at 2a we have t not so we'll put okay so we'll get two equations yes or no for c1 and c2 okay so we'll get two equations for c1 and c2 we'll calculate c1 and c2 yes or no tell me i'll just put it 2t not is equal to c1 by 2 pi sorry 4 pi k a plus c2 okay and at t not t not right is c1 by 4 pi k right this is 2a not plus c2 now think about it if you compare if you compare this right you can find the value of c1 or c2 yes or no just subtract this Just subtract this. We will get the value of C one and C two. Yes or no? Tell me. Right now, we can put the value. Right. Yes. So by putting the value, I will get this equation because C one C two we got. I will get T in terms of R. Okay. So the first is this one. Second, if I got the temperature in terms of R, I can just put the value R as three by two, and I'll get the temperature. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? think about it everyone got this yes or no or do you need me to solve everything can you solve just subtract these na subtract this from this so we will get t not is equal to now this is c1 by 4 pi k into a by c1 by 4 pi k into 2a okay so we will be left with c1 by 4 pi k into 2a not because it is half na One minus half is half, so from here we can get the C one, right? From here we can get C one, right? Now put it in any of the equation. We get C two, okay? So after putting C one and C two, I'll get this. T is equal to two a by r t naught, okay? Got it? Because C one I got in terms of t naught, C two I got in terms of t naught, so I'll get t is equal to two a by r t naught, okay? Got it? Yes or no? Tell me. So dq by dt will get right. Dq by dt will get, and t will also get. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me. Anyone have any issue in this? Think about it. All of you understood this problem? Yes or no? Anika, Anamika, Anjali, Chulika, Samya, right? खुशी कोशी कृष्णा मानसी निधि प्रीतम आर यू गेटिंग दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ओके वेरी गुड राइट वेरी गुड सो सी दिस इज दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन ओके द फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली राइट सो दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली Yes. Okay. Let's let's solve more problems based on this heat transfer. Okay. Let's solve some more problem based on heat transfer. So. 
solve problem number six first. Okay, six. Solve problem number six. I hope everyone can find it. We have done a similar problem yesterday. Yes or no? Six and seven. Okay, six, seven. So anyways, we'll be discussing all the problems, but first six and seven. So start with six, start with six. Okay, me. so I guess everyone is able to solve this. Very good, right? This is easy one. Now, we will use the junction concept, right? So I can say that suppose the temperature is T over here. So I hope all of you remember the concept, yes or no? Yes, Pradyumna, very good, right? Very good. So let's write down the concept. So we know that 100 minus T by, tell me, R1 plus zero minus T by R2 plus 50 50 minus T by R3. R3 is equal to zero, right? Yes or no? Yes or no? I didn't care about direction. I just took this as a sink. Okay, as a sink, right? So I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to zero. Now we know that R1 is equal to L1 by K1 into A1. R2 is equal to L2 by K2 into A2. And R3 is equal to L3 by K3 into A3. Makes sense, tell me, yes? Right? Now, same dimension, length and area is same. Okay, length and area is same, right? The K will be changed. So if you put the value, right? So L by A will be canceled, right? L by A will be taken as common and it will be canceled. And R is inverse proportional to K1. So we will get something like this, 100 minus T into K1 plus zero minus T into K2 plus 50 minus T into K3 is equal to zero, right? Yes or no? Or you can just use the right formula. You can just use the right formula also that you have studied, right? But if you don't get that, you can just use this. Now we will calculate K1, K2, K3 is given. 3K, K, 2K. So it is, K will be cancelled. So 300, if you put the value 3 into this, 300 minus 3T plus K2 is K. So one only, 0 minus T plus K3 is this, 2k, which is 2 only, because k will be taken common and cancelled. So it will be 100 minus 2t is equal to 0. So 300 plus 100, 400, right? Got it? Yes. And 3t minus 2t minus t, 60. So 60 is equal to 400. So T is equal to 200 by 3, which is equal to 66.67 degrees centigrade. Easy? Tell me. Easy? Got it, everyone? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes or no? Everyone got this concept? Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good, everyone. So I hope all of you understood this concept. Yes. Now solve this seventh one, okay? Solve this seventh one, right? Everyone please try solving seventh one. Now think about it, right? Let, let's think about it. Now forget about, forget about, yeah, forget about uh, heat current for now or heat for now. Just Think it as a basic problem based on your current electricity. So I can say that, okay, these two, right? This and this, right? 
are in series, yes or no, right? So from here to here, here to here, we have two rod, which is in series. And here to here, here to here, we have two rod, which is in series. Then these two are in parallel. Then this is in series. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes, right? Okay. Now, I'm not, yeah, I'm not worried about this problem for now. Okay, I'm not worried about this from problem for now. I'm just trying to find R effective, R equivalent across A and D, across A and D. Can we do that? Tell me, can we do that? Right? Yes. Now, we know that length and area is length and area is same, okay, which will be cancelled. So, think about it. When you talk about this, when you talk about this, okay, length is same, K is also same. So, I can say, okay, BC is same, right? Instead of having two different rods, I can say it is the same rod, okay, having twice the length. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Yes, and we know that R is directly proportional to K. R is directly proportional to K. So, inversely proportional to K. So, if R is inversely proportional to K, then if I'm saying R equivalent as R1 plus R2, which means 1 by K equivalent is equal to 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2. This is one thing that we have to keep in mind, which will be used as a shortcuts, right? Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Okay, right? Okay, so can we calculate R equivalent from A to D, everyone? Give it a try and let me know what is R equivalent in terms of R, in terms of R, okay? So suppose R is equal to L by KA. R is L by KA, okay? Then in terms of this R, what is this R equivalent? Tell me. Without even thinking, can I say, okay, this is K, right? This is K. So it is, suppose this R. Now, this would be what? This would be, okay, 2K, which is R by 2. Because K is no solution to R. So this is also R by 2. This is also R by 2. This is also R by 2. And this is R by 3. As simple as that. Yes or no? Yes or no? So R by 2 plus R by 2 R r by 2, r by 2, r, right, series, then in parallel, so it is r by 2, then all the three in series. So I can say, okay, we have r equivalent as r by 3 plus r by 2 plus r. Simple, tell me, simple, yes or no? Think about it, yes or no? Everyone is getting this? Tell me, everyone is getting this? Yes, everyone got this concept. Very good. So R equivalent, R equivalent is equal to what? If you just take the LCM, we'll get six. Two R plus three R, five R plus six R, 11 R. Okay. Now we know that I is equal to V by R. So it is TH minus TL by R equivalent this is equal to 200 minus 20 divided by 11 R into 6. Got it everyone? Tell me, got it? Anyone have any doubt till this point? Anyone have any doubt till this point? Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Samya? Mansi, Anjali, Shulika. Koshi, Khushi. Namika, no, no doubt, clear. Everything is clear till this point. Yes. Okay, very good. So if everyone is, yes. So if everyone is clear with this concept, okay. So now we have to find the temperature at junction B. So I can say if we can get the current, right? So I can say the current will be same. Now the current will be same, right? So 
temperature at A minus temperature at B divided by B resistance, which is R by 3, R by 3, you don't have to solve, is equal to I only, which is 180 into 6 divided by 11 R. So R will get cancelled, R will get cancelled, right? 3 will be divided over here. So T is 200 minus TB, which is X, is equal to 180 into 6 by 3, right? Into 11. Okay, so 3 will divide 2 times. So we can find the value of X, yes or no, tell me. We can find the value of X. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me, anyone have any issue in this? Got this concept? Tell me, got this concept? Easy now? Okay, very good, right? Just check for the calculation errors, okay, right? Otherwise, the concept is convert your uh, rod into resistance. It's easy. Right? So the first thing that I did was converting every rod into resistance. Right? Yes or no? I'll take one as a re reference and then convert it every one in terms of resistance. And since K, length in A is same and K is inversely proportional to R, so if K is twice, okay, right? If K is twice, then resistance is half. Makes sense. Yes or no? Yes or no? If K is twice, then resistance is half. Okay. So, Yes, so I just assigned the value of R, then it is your electric current problem that we have solved in class 10. Easy, got it, easy. Okay, let's, let's forget about that, forget about that. If you, if you are thinking about this, forget about that, just try to solve this one, just try to think, right? This is the last concept of Heat transfer, okay, if you can solve or understand this problem, then all of the concept would be very strong. Okay, just try this, just try this. Take your time, no issues, right? Take your time. Think about it. Take your time and think about it. Okay, let's, let's let's try to think about it, right? I'll give you a hint, okay? Now, now think about it. I hope all of you understood the junction law. I hope all of you understood junction law, right? The hint is you have to use junction law, okay? So what's the meaning of junction law? Tell me. Junction law says if x, this is equal, right? X is equal, length is equal. If any heat current is passing through this, right? And the same heat current is passing through this, what will be a heat current in this? As simple as that, right? Yes. The net current in this junction CD will be zero. As simple as that. That is my concept, okay? Right, this is your hint, okay? Right, this is your hint. So you can just ignore this. You can just ignore this. Ignore this. Okay, ignore this junction. Then I guess it is easy. Tell me, then it is easy. Then it is same as the one we did. Yes or no, tell me, right? Now, if you think about it, think about it, right? So this is the equation. This is the problem now. Yes or no, think about it, right? So I'm having this A at temperature 60 degrees centigrade. B, we don't know. C, D, we don't know. Right, E at 10 degrees centigrade. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? First, let's try to understand what is given. Okay, right. So I can say I'm talking. I'll talk about in terms of current. Okay, I'll talk in terms of current. So if current is passing through this, if current is passing through A and B, okay. So the current is I1, right? Or here it is Q1. So it will be divided into two parts, Q2 and Q3. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Right now, from here at junction C, at junction C, there's a chance that it can divide into two parts, which is Q4 and Q5. Okay, and here Q3 and Q4 should meet to find give this Q6. But as we said, as we said, it totally depends on 
it totally depends on the k of bc ce bd and be and it is given it is given that this bc and ce and bd and dy right if it is same if it is same okay the length is same got it the conductivity is also same then same amount of heat will be transferred yes or no tell me yes or no right okay so this is the concept that we discussed now if we write, try to find the equation think about it we'll use the junction law yes or no we'll use the junction law right everyone tell me right yes or no so let's try to solve it okay right let's try to solve it so at this junction b at this junction b let's try to start with okay junction b temperature is 30 yes 30 and 20 okay right so c and d will be at same temperature as i told you okay right so let's try to solve step by step everyone try to understand this is very good problem very good problem okay so we will start with junction b so i can say that okay at junction b at junction b the current this should be equal to this plus this yes or no yes or no okay right so the equation would be what so it will be ta minus tb by r ab is equal to tb minus tc by r bc plus tb minus tb by r this yes or no so this is the equation this is the equation makes sense tell me makes sense yes or no right anyone have any issue anyone have any issue tell me so this is equation 1 this is equation 1 this is general equation you have to give a uh, in actual pro problem you will be given tell me you will be given the values so anyone have any issue in this tell me anyone have any issue in this this is one actually there is a mistake because everything is divided by y na so this would be 1 ky by ky will be 1 okay right got it right this is one there is a mistake over here because we divided everything by ky so it will be kx by ky then ky by ky is 1 so this is equation 1 now we know that it is given okay it is given kx by ky is given 9.2 by 4.6 which is equal to 2 so this is also given okay so i can find the relationship between okay i can find the relationship between ta tb tc td this is first equation now okay so this is a relationship this is a relationship this is the relationship equation 1 as per that because ta is given ta is given and te is given now at junction c so c either you can write this or this is there is a simpler way right the simpler way is just to assume that this through cd current will not sorry thermal current will not flow then it will be much easier much easier okay right much easier because you will get that the c and d will be at same temperature okay got it and using the junction you can say if same current think about it now if 20 right 20 joule per second is going in dc and if 20 joule per second is going in c will there be any current in cd tell me will there be any heat current in cd think about it yes or no right so that is the shortcut one okay using the concept of junction but if you don't get it then just use the junction at c and d okay so if you use the junction at c and d you will get this equation right this equation okay so equation 2 and same at junction d we will get almost the same equation actually the same equation right so this is at junction d now we have three variables three equation variable is tb tc td if you solve it if you solve the equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 you will get this junction temperature and this junction temperature will be same okay will be same at 20 degree centigrade and this so 
if you think about it, it is actually linear equation three variable. Yes or no? Tell me. It is actually linear equation three variable. Yes or no? Everyone got this concept? Tell me. Everyone got this concept? Anjali, do I need to tell everything once again? Tell me. I'll explain everything once again. If anyone have any doubt, I'll explain everything once again. Got it? Tell me. Should I solve how we got T A? Yes, we, how we got T B is equal to thirty. T C T D is twenty. It is just linear equation three variable. Tell me, everyone. All of you understood this? Yes or no? Yes or no? So this is method one. This is method one. right i'll tell you method 2 okay should i tell you method 2 this is method 1 the basic method right so let's discuss method 2 okay okay i'll explain method 1 in again okay so see in method 1 we just have to use junction law we just have to use the junction law not tell me how many junction do we have here tell me how many junctions do we have here step by step like right? step by step everyone step by step three junctions B C N D, B C N D, and how many temperature? How many junction temperature we have? Three, right? So we have three junction and three variables. Yes or no? Tell me. Three junction and three variable. Okay. So I'll start with writing the equation at junction B. So at junction B, at junction B, right? I, this I is equal to I one plus I two. So I, which is K Y. K Y A T A minus T B T A minus T B by D D right is equal to this by this. Got it? Tell me. Got it? Yes or no? Right? Yes or no? Wait. I'll just I'll just write down. I'll just solve it for you guys. Okay. Don't worry. I'll just solve it for you guys. Okay. I'll just solve it for you guys. What happened? Wait. Yeah, it's working. Okay, I'll just write down each step one by one. Okay, I'll write down each step one by one. Try to understand. Add junction B. Okay, I'll write in an easier way. Okay, I'll write in an easier way. Okay, because. Length and area is same, na? See, length and area is given as same, right? Length and area same. Okay, so at junction B, I can say T A minus T B. Think about it. T A minus T B by R one is equal to T B minus T C by R two plus T B minus T D by R three. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Where R one R one is this? R two is R three is this? R four is this? Right? I'll just write down R one R two R three. So we have this as R one, R two, R three, R four, R five, R six. Okay. And the relationship is R one is equal to R three is equal to R five because length same, area same, and y which is thermal conductivity same, and R two is equal to R four is equal to R six. Any issues in this? Tell me. Any issue in this? Tell me. Any issue in this? No. Right. Step by step. I'll. We using the simpler method, okay? So, T is given as sixty. T is given as sixty. So sixty minus T B. We don't know by R one. Now 
if you talk about R1, R2, R3, okay, so in all the three, the dimension L and A is, so it can be cancelled, right? So we are left with what? We are left with K. So it is K1, right? And we know that R1 and R3 are equal. So it is K1 is equal to TB minus TC, TB minus TC. Now, R2, R2, so I'll write as K2 plus TB minus TD into, now again, R1 and R3 are equal, R1 and R3 are equal, so it is also K1. Got it? Right? Got it? Tell me, yes or no? Yes or no? And according to this, con according to my problem, it, it get hanged, okay? So according to the problem, okay, wait, it got hanged. K1 by K2 is given. K1 by K2 is given. Okay, it is K1 by K2 is uh, 2 or K2 by K1 is 2, right? I have to see, okay? Now, so if you solve this, just divide everything by K1. So 60 minus TB is equal to K2 by K1, K2 by K1 into TB minus TC plus TB minus TD. Got it? Now, okay, K2 by K1 is 2. Sorry, K2 by K1 is 2. So this is 1 by 2. So this is first equation A. Equation A, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Everyone got this? Tell me. Everyone got this? First equation? I hope everyone got this, this first equation. Yes or no? Yes or no? So this is the first equation. And this is the first equation that we got, right? Okay, guys. Okay, everyone. Now, in the same way, in the same way, now, here, I can say the current is, will not flow away conceptually without any uh, equations. We can conceptually say since this, this resistance is equal, right? Okay. Potential will be same. So, current will not flow. Okay. So, temperature between C and D should be equal. So, either you can take or you can just ignore this. The answer will be same. Okay. In the same way, you will find the equation at C and equation at B. We will get this equation and this equation. Then we will still solve all the three equations. Got it, guys? Tell me. Got it? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes or no? So this is method one. This is method one. So everyone got the method one? Tell me. Everyone got the method one? Right? Now. I'll tell I'll tell you method two, right? Let's see method two. Okay. Right? Let's see method two. Now, can I say, okay, if C and D, if C and B is at same temperature or if current is not flowing through this, okay, so I can just remove it. Yes or no? I'll just remove it. Right? Remove this, remove this, remove this. So if we remove this, think about it. Then this and this will be in series. Rest or no, R2, R4 will be in series. R2, R4 will be series. R3, R5 will be series. And then everything will be in parallel, right? So can I say like this? Think about it. Okay. Yes. So R2, this between B and E, we have two. This is R2 because X is R2 now. And this is 2R1, 2R1. 2R1, 2R1, right? And we know that, we know that, okay, R2, yes. Yes, okay, so you'll get that, you'll get that, right? So step two, wait, I, this, this is not working for me. Okay, yeah, it's worked. Okay, step, method two, let's, let's talk about method two. Everyone, please pay attention. Method two is much easier. Method two. Okay, method two is much easier, much easier, right? You all have already solved it. Yes or no? Tell me. Have you solved this one? T1 is given. T2 is given. This is 2K. This is 2K. This is K. This is K. This is K. Tell me. Have you solved this or not? Tell me. Have you solved this or not? Right? Yes? Okay, very good. So I can say, I can say that this, suppose this is R, suppose this is R. Good. 
this is r so this is r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 r r so r equivalent you can find between these two temperatures so r equivalent r equivalent is equal to this is r this is 2r so r into 2r by r plus 2r is 2 by 3r plus r so r equivalent is equal to 5 by 3r this is r equivalent okay yes or no see how easy it becomes how easy it becomes so i is equal to t1 minus t2 by r equivalent which is t1 is what tell me t1 is 60 minus t2 is what tell me t2 is 10 by r equivalent r equivalent is what 5 by 3 r yes or no right yes or no so i is equal to this is 30 r make sense make sense right now what is this tb tb so i can say okay t1 minus tb by r is equal to 30 okay 30 by r sorry 30 by r 30 by r r will get cancelled so tb is equal to t1 minus 30 which is 60 minus 30 which is 30 answer yes or no tell me how easy this method is yes or no using the concept of current see tell me everyone got this method 2 everyone got this method 2 using the concept of current raise your hand right raise your hand okay in the same way you can find tc and td in the same way you can find tc and td okay right so this is the end of this topic which is conduction i hope everyone understood the, all the concept of conduction yes or no yes or no right okay yes Okay, so see in second half also now we will complete this topic, right? We'll com complete this topic so that you can have uh, some work to do. Okay, so second half we'll study this only, heat transfer only. Okay, right?